Hello world, I'm Robin Catling and this is Write On. Join me in my author journey as I delve into the craft of writing, bringing you tools, tips and lessons learned the hard way so you don't have to. Wants, Needs, Fears and Misbeliefs Four essentials of character will inform the character's arc or transformation. Wants, needs, fears, and misbeliefs. More than the simple mechanics of plot, those four things drive the character's change from the beginning to the end of the story. Moreover, those four essentials will drive any kind of story, from hero's journey or romance to worldview or coming of age. They also drive the tragic fall from grace or the redemption arc of the villain. Pick a card. I ran this exercise at our writer's group. Choose a protagonist, yours or one from a novel you've read. Consider, what do they want? What do they need? Then, what's their fear? What holds them back? And, what's their misbelief? What false obstacle keeps them from the true path? In story terms, then, their want is usually superficial or entirely false. This is a thread of external plot. Their need is their true goal they have to embrace. This is the vital internal plot, the why should we care thread. Without this, there is no story. There's just a bunch of stuff that happens. For the character arc of transformation, then, abandoning the want sets them on the road to change. Actively pursuing their need acknowledges the transformation they have to go through. That leads us to fears and misbeliefs. Overcoming their fear shows courage and growth. Overturning their misbelief is the revelation of the new path. Previous posts have covered misbeliefs and the arc of change. So what do we find when we look at each of these four character elements? From literature. Lizzie Bennet, Pride and Prejudice. Yes, collect a sticker. Let's look at her wants, needs, fears and misbeliefs. Want. To save the family from the Longbourn Covenant. No male heirs in the family. Need to find a life partner worthy of her. Fear she'll be doomed to a loveless transactional marriage of convenience. Misbelief that wealth and privilege makes everyone a jackass, including Darcy. Halfway through the story, she abandons her want. She rejects Mr. Collins' proposal. In doing so, she faces her fear. Cloistered at Longbourn, she doesn't expect her need to be fulfilled. From the earliest moment, her prejudice reinforces her misbelief in the arrogance and selfishness of the wealthy. Lucky for her, Darcy returns to propose as she abandons that misbelief. Pip, Great Expectations, is a country boy from the marshes who has wealth and favour land in his lap. His want, money and status. His need, to discover true self-worth. His fear, to live a small life without love his misbelief that status only exists in money and social rank. The assumed patronage of Miss Havisham is a mystery red herring. It's an external plot point, not the internal plot of values. Side note, the problem with Pip. Just because I can identify the wants, needs, fears and misbeliefs, it doesn't mean the character arc works. Pip is shallow, snobby, suggestible, selfish, arrogant and entitled. Social science would call him a class traitor, and worse. Pip's redemption comes way too late. It's a redemption arc of self actualization He doesn't get the money, or the status, or the girl at the end, but he does get an understanding of who he is. My characters. Do my characters work with these four essentials? Jovanka. Her want, to find the Grey Rider, her helpmate for the mission ahead. External plot. Her need to find her own agency and find her own path. Internal plot. Fear that she'll turn into her brute of a father. Misbelief that her future is fixed and unalterable. It turns out she can defy her second sight and choose her own path. Erin. Her want to find the sixth messenger and complete her lifelong mission. Her need to end her self-imposed isolation and find family through community. Fear 1. External. Failure. 
she's had hard taskmasters who set impossible standards. Fear 2. Internal. Attachment. Erin has layers and layers of abandonment issues. She fears new attachments because every one ends with the pain of loss. Her misbelief that she's alone and has to stay that way. Both their character story types are coming of age, wrapped in the fantasy adventure genre. Without addressing these four essentials, I might be able to make something of flat arc adventurers in the protagonist role. Flat arc characters present a whole other set of challenges. That's all for this time. Thanks for stopping by. You can like and subscribe to the channel, or go to robincatling.com to check out the blog. <laughs>